everybody. <laughs> I'm not a YouTuber. Don't expect this to be a YouTube video. It's not entertaining and it's just for me. So there you have it. As a person who loves movies, I truly did have a phase in my life where I just would only watch short films and really didn't care much about movies. This was when I was like 11 or 12-ish. From those times in my life, I have some of my favorite, favorite films that I think everybody in the world should watch. They're fantastic. Here are some of my absolute favorite short films. So the first one is called Playground, and I don't remember when I first watched this, but Playground is a film by Bertie Gilbert, who's a British filmmaker, and he's fantastic. All the stuff he does is really cool. His stories are very interesting, and he started making movies when he was like 16, which is like crazy, because his stuff is like really good from then. But Playground especially is really cute. Um, because it plays off of like a childhood aspect of this guy who's going through the loss of his brother and how he deals with it and Everything about it is really cute. Um, the set design is my favorite because the sets look awesome There's a lot of like creativity to it. So I love it. That one definitely very cute very emotional check that one out It's awesome. This one might be my favorite favorite of all time. Um, it's called the privates Weird name. I know but The Privates is about like a band and the band of people together create deadly music. It's, it's, it sounds stupid the way I'm describing it, but it's actually really fantastic. Um, it's very funny. The characters are all very niche and you wouldn't really expect them to get along because of how like weird they all are. But that film has really good lighting and good acting. Oh my gosh. The acting is just so superb. I've written scripts inspired by this film, so you should definitely watch it, it's very good. Uh, here's a film that I really like, and it's an animated film, actually. It's called Mr. Medela. I don't know, it's endearing. It's, it makes you think, it's very philosophical at the end, which I like. I like exploring philosophy in films, and I haven't really seen an animation do what it did. Just watch it, it's great. Oh my gosh, The Star Sisters. Now this is a mature film, so some of you might not be old enough to watch it yet, but this is a fantastic film. It's not even just a documentary about these women. It's a reflection on their lives and the way that they tell them is so sincere because they're such characters. Like I could imagine seeing them in their own like comedy movie. You know, they grew up in a very tough situation and the way that it's told is very like makeshift. By makeshift, I mean like, it looks very surreal, which is really interesting and weird the way they did it, but the Star Sisters is so cute. I love it. They're hilarious. <laughs> this one goes back to one that I saw with my friends. If anyone remembers it, you know what I'm talking about. Fritz you Siv. <laughs> Fritz you Siv. It has a great use of editing skills and especially lighting. If you happen to have epilepsy or suffer from sensitive eardrums or don't have a sense of humor at all, I don't think this is the film for you, but it definitely is something new. I've seen it at least three times now so I can follow it because I've seen it three times. The first time I watched it, I was laughing so hard. I like <laughs> cried. It was great. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I'll just, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Independent documentary movies i should restate that they're not all documentaries these are just some of like the independent movies that really nobody knows about but i'm in love with and will always love forever i mean some people probably know what this movie is it's called saint vincent with bill murray and melissa mccartney it hits me so hard the story is so impeccable. Everything about it is very emotional because it mixes some sort of like humor and loneliness together and how people, you know, nobody has a perfect life and everybody struggles and everybody has something to deal with and they combined all of that and just made it funny and put Bill Murray in it. It's my fourth favorite movie on Letterboxd. Go follow my Letterbox down below. It's funny that like I've seen this movie a hundred times now because I recognize that one of the actresses is in my second favorite movie that I'm listing here. What do you know? Okay, so the next film that you need to see right away this minute is called Sisterhood of Night. I remember seeing this movie on Netflix in like 2014 and falling in love with the story. I love everything about it. It's about some teenage girls who are going through some sort of judgment and they decide to not play a part in society. They take a vow of silence by leaving social media and it turns out to be really hard for them. It looks beautiful. It gives me the feeling that someone with a very good photography eye made it, but it's fantastic. You should watch it. This is one of my favorite documentaries ever, ever. 
This documentary was recommended to me by one of my teachers, actually, and we were just talking about like New York accents one day, and I he recommended me this film, and I watched it, and I loved it. I don't know what it is about this film. There's nothing special about the cinematography in my perspective, but the stories that people tell and the community it surrounds in New York and like the different boroughs and how everything is kind of connected, it really resonates with me, and I've watched this film at least twice a year if not more. It's free on YouTube, so if you want to go watch it, you should definitely check it out. It's really good. So I think that's pretty much it for now, and if you're sitting at home in the winter during the pandemic having nothing to do, please check these out. I'm gonna put all of the links to all of the films below so that you can see them. Friends, please, I, I'm not a YouTuber, please don't tell me that I need to do this again because I don't want to do this again. That's the truth. Uh, stay healthy, take care of your friends and family, don't get stressed out, love each other. That's a very good thing. In this world, I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Love each other. Um, what else? Have a good time, have fun. Do something that you would want somebody to do to you. Like, give, give somebody a post-it note that says, I love your hair. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like delving into like this kind of whatever. It's okay. All right, take care everyone, bye.